Hi, welcome back to Preschool Storytime from Long Beach Public Library. My name is Miss Shana. You still have time to sign up for summer reading. Visit longbeach.beanstack.org and don't forget to enter this week's code, COBALTS, on the Activities tab of your Beanstack account. It's time to sing our color song. So look at what colors you have on today and listen for your color, okay? If you're wearing any red, any red, if you're wearing any red, any red, if you're wearing any red, nod your head. If you're wearing any red, any red, if you're wearing any orange, any orange, if you're wearing any orange, any orange, if you're wearing any orange, honk your nose just like a horn. Beep, beep. If you're wearing any orange, any orange, if you're wearing any yellow, any yellow, if you're wearing any yellow, any yellow, if you're wearing any yellow, wave your hand and say hello. If you're wearing any yellow, any yellow, if you're wearing any green, any green, if you're wearing any green, any green, if you're wearing any green, make a face that's really mean. Ooh, that's mean. If you're wearing any green, any green, if you're wearing any blue, any blue, if you're wearing any blue, any blue, if you're wearing any blue, sneeze and say, achoo! If you're wearing any blue, any blue, if you're wearing any purple, any purple, if you're wearing any purple, any purple, if you're wearing any purple, puff your cheeks just like a gerbil. <laughs> if you're wearing any purple, any purple. Today's story time theme is all about the color blue. I'm thinking of something that's blue that's above us. And sometimes it's filled with clouds. Sometimes it's black. The sky, that's right. I'm thinking of something that's blue that whales live in and kids swim in in the summertime. The ocean, that's right. I'm thinking of something that's blue that lives in a tree, sings a beautiful song, and has wings. A blue jay, very good. Will you help me find the little blue whale? They're hiding behind one of these pails. What color is this pail? Red? Orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Little blue whale, little blue whale, are you hiding behind the red pail? Nope. Little blue whale, little blue whale, are you hiding behind the purple pail? <gasps> no. Little blue whale, little blue whale, are you hiding behind the blue pail? <gasps> Yay, there you are. I thought I'd lost you. What's that? You want to play again? Okay. Cover your eyes so you can't see. Cover your eyes now, don't you peek. I'm gonna hide this whale, okay? No peeking. 
Don't peek. I see you're peeking. Okay. Ready? Little blue whale, little blue whale, are you hiding behind the yellow pail? No. Good try though. What color should we check next? I think I hear one of you saying green. Little blue whale, little blue whale, are you hiding behind the green pit? No. All right, let's see. Little blue whale, little blue whale, are you hiding behind the orange pail? <gasps> ah, yes, hi, and you're upside down. <laughs> Thanks for helping me find the little blue whale. Our first story today is called Baby Bear Sees Blue. It's by Ashley Wolf. And this is one of my favorite stories that me and my son like to read together. I hope you like it too. Baby Bear Sees Blue. Where does a bear live? What do you call this? A cave or a den? Someplace warm to sleep all winter, right? But what happens when the winter is over? And those sleepy bears are hungry. They wake up and they want to go outside, right? Deep down in the den, baby bear wakes up. He yawns and blinks, blink, blink, and stretches his stubby legs. In the den's dark wall, an opening slowly fills with light. A glow creeps in. Who is warning me, Mama? asks Baby Bear. That is the sun, Mama says. Baby Bear sees yellow. At the mouth of the den, leaves dance on a twig. Who is waving to me, Mama? asked Baby Bear. That is the oak, Mama says. Baby Bear sees green. High in the oak, a bird calls out. Another bird answers. Who is singing to me, Mama? Asks Baby Bear. Those are the jays, Mama says. Baby Bear sees blue. Mama Bear wades the swift river. Baby Bear follows. Suddenly a fish leaps. me? asks Baby Bear. That is the trout, Mama says. Baby Bear sees brown. Mama and Baby climb into the meadow. Baby Bear sniffs. <laughs> what smells so good, Mama? asks Baby Bear. Those are the strawberries, Mama says. Baby Bear sees red. Mama Bear rests in the grass while Baby Bear explores. Bright wings flutter by. Who tickled me, Mama? asks Baby Bear. That is a butterfly, Mama says. 
Baby Bear sees orange. Baby Bear hears a deep rumble. Mama, who is growling at me? That is the thunder, Mama says. Let's hurry home. Baby Bear sees gray. When the boom and grumble move off down the valley, Baby Bear peeks outside. <gasps> Mama, look! That is the rainbow, Mama says. Mama and Baby curl together. Baby Bear yawns. <sighs> Good night, Baby Bear, Mama says. Good night, Mama, says Baby Bear. Then Baby Bear closes his eyes and sees nothing but deep, soft black. The end. You know who's blue? My friend, the pigeon. Did you know pigeon is one of triplets? Oh, he sure is. How many pigeons do you see here? One, two, three. Three blue pigeons sitting on a wall. Three blue pigeons sitting on a wall. If one of those pigeons should happen to fall, there'd be two blue pigeons sitting on the wall. Two blue pigeons sitting on the wall. Two blue pigeons sitting on the wall. If one of those pigeons should happen to fall, there'd be one blue pigeon sitting on the wall. One blue pigeon sitting on the wall. One blue pigeon sitting on the wall. If that little pigeon should happen to fall, there'd be no blue pigeon sitting on the wall. Hey! This story is called, Have You Seen My New Blue Socks? I have lost my new blue socks. Did I put them in my box? I know I put them somewhere near. How could they simply disappear? I will ask my friend, the fox. Have you seen my new blue socks? I have not seen your new blue socks. Did you look inside your box? Did you ask your friend, the ox? Oh, I will ask him right away. I will ask this very day. I have lost my new blue socks. Have you seen them, Mr. Ox? Did you look inside your box? Did you ask your friend the fox? Well, I may have seen your new blue socks. I saw some socks down on the rocks. Oh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Ox. I'm off to find my new blue socks. Hmm, these are socks, but they're not new. They're more like purple, not like blue. I'm trying not to be depressed. Without my socks, I feel undressed. I will ask the peacocks. They might know. They're always strutting to and fro. Peacocks, have you seen my socks? They're such a pretty blue. I just got them. They're new. Well, how did you lose them? That's a shame. Are those you're wearing now the same? The same? Oh, no. That can't be right. All my other socks are white. But I can see a touch of blue. Underneath your 
laced up shoe. I'm wearing them? I put them on? I was certain they were gone. I knew I put them somewhere near. I did not know I put them here. Thank you, thank you, dear peacocks. At last, I found my new blue socks. They were right on his feet the whole time. <laughs> the end. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. We'll see you next time. Happy summer reading.